Let me show you how to remove the engine wiring harness top cover from your Aston Martin DB9 V12. In this episode of Aston1936.com, I'm going to show you how to remove the engine wiring harness top cover. We actually have two of them in our car. So the engine wiring harness uh, is this area on the side of the V12 engine where Aston decided to sneak in a bunch of ancillary components. It's this actual black plastic tunnel uh, that's stuck to the side of the uh, each side of the V12 and tucked in here at least we can see quite easily right now, we have things like the uh, heater core hose. So this is the rubber hose that takes hot coolant up to the engine com or passenger compartment to generate heat inside the car. We have uh, this metal pipe, which is the positive crankcase ventilation fresh air supply line that comes back up and connects to the back of the uh, valve covers. Uh, so that's what's in here. And then we have uh, a wiring harness. So the wiring harness here has things like a connection for the throttle bar body that's up front here normally. And then what's probably causing you to actually get in here to check around is it's also got the electrical connections that we'll see in a minute for the O2 sensors. So those O2 sensors are probably what's causing you to, to get into this compartment in the first place. So this cover unfortunately is made from some sort of plastic composite and this area is insanely hot. Um, we're right above the exhaust manifolds, we're right up against the cylinder head um, and there's a ton of heat soak in here. So as you can imagine after a number of years this plastic has become highly brittle and it's put together with plastic tabs that you have to uh, bend up to remove it. So it's almost a guaranteed certainty that you're going to break this plastic cover when you remove it uh, to the point where I'm going to tell you, you should probably already have ordered replacements um, when you're going to get in here to do any task relating to removing this. Uh, the good news is, is that it's one of the few parts on an Aston Martin that isn't crazy expensive. And in my upcoming video where I'm going to show you how to reinstall uh, this cover, I'll show you uh, how much they cost, what the part numbers are, and where you can buy them. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, tackle getting this thing removed. But before we start that, I want to actually show you what you're going to face when you open your hood and you come in here to look for these things. Ta-da! This is more like what you're going to see when you open the hood. There is no view <laughs> of the top of that uh, cover set area. You're going to have your intake manifolds, your throttle bodies, intake tubes. There's still, there's even going to be an engine brace here and here. There is no real access from above to work on this. Uh, so that's what makes this most challenging is that uh, getting into where all those clips and tabs are, uh, we're going to have to do that from inside the fender well. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So don't despair. If you have a little bit of patience, anyone can do this. So let me show you which tools we're going to need to tackle the task. So to get this thing off, we're essentially going to use whatever collection of picks um, and small flat blade screwdrivers uh, that you might have that we can get underneath at really weird angles and pry up this ta these tabs. So I ended up using sort of a, a collection of them. I even used a really long one because one of them was really hard uh, to get to. So whatever collection of picks you have will probably do the trick. You'll just have to be creative and inventive on your own. So before we go over to the car uh, to take this off, I want to show you a bit of the challenge first. So these tabs um, are the things we're going to be fighting with that are very brittle, and we're likely going to break them all off. So you can see a broken off one here uh, on the end. They're, they're just so baked after all these years, um, they snap off. So I wanted you to know how many there are, there are and where they sit. So um, this is the top. So there's one on the right, two in the middle, and another one on the extreme left. This one uh, on the left-hand side of the car is the brutal one to get because you'll not be able to see it all when you're removing it. 
This one here will also be very difficult and you'll get at it from the front. Then on the bottom, you can see the five broken off ones uh, that I have the remains of here on this. Uh, there's almost no access at all to the bottom ones. And I end up basically just going in and trying to pry them up and they all snapped off. And then uh, also important to note here is that all along the perimeter is this slot. And essentially the back cover that this connects to fits into this slot. So even once you pull the tabs up, there's a, this natural friction that holds the cover in place. So it's actually gonna take some effort to pull it back once you have the tabs uh, popped up, if you can get them to pop up. And so that slot goes all the way along the bottom and it comes all along the straight sections on the top as well. So let's hop over to the car and I'm gonna to try to show you how we can do this from within the fender well. So we're gonna be doing most of the work through the fender well. Um, and there's some prerequisites, obviously, to be able to get in here and access uh, the spot where we're gonna to have to be. I've got the car jacked up off the ground. You wanna have it probably with a jack stand underneath. You're gonna remove the road wheel and then you're gonna remove the inner fender liner. And once you do that, you're actually gonna expose at least uh, portion of the cover. Uh, I'm actually touching it here with my hands. So the top cover is actually hiding right here. It's this black item. And as you can see, we have uh, the O2 sensor wires coming from the O2 sensors going up and disappearing into this uh, harness area. And the, there's these lower tabs that you can't even see at all, but you can feel them. And then up here, uh, that sort of cheated because I've already um, broken these off practicing, but uh, you can see at least one top one there and another one right there. Um, so those are the two easy ones to attack. We're going to start with those, those two top ones. The next one on the top row is hidden way back and we're going to have to basically blindly go behind the coolant reservoir tank here. Uh, to get to that uh, third one. And then the fourth one is actually, if you can switch over my other shoulder. So missing here is the throttle body and the intake manifold. So it's gonna be even uglier for you to see. But if we follow, this is that PCV metal pipe and here's the wiring harness and stuff. So this is where the beginning of the uh, harness area is. And then we know just blindly, so you're gonna be slipping your hand or your screwdriver underneath all this throttle body stuff just to get to that front tab and to break it off. <laughs> so um, anyways, uh, let me uh, start trying to tackle this and show you how to do it. So I'm gonna start with these two easy ones and I'm gonna go at it, um, try and get the back one and then this uh, first of the center too. So the idea is you're going to try, you want to try and gently prise up uh, these tabs. Now I've cracked this one and, and it'll be under some pressure. So I probably can't get on it with the flat blade screwdriver, but I can get under it with a right angle pick. So you can come in from the side, pull up that corner and you can try tugging back a little bit away from the plastic so you can at least get that to ride on top. That's if it hasn't just completely broken off. If you've already just uh, bit the bullet and you've ordered yourself a replacement cover, you can just get under there and pry it and snap it off. So this one's the same thing. Um, we can get out and try and pry it up this way. Or if you have a straight pick that you could just sneak into the gap between the tab and uh, this you can basically get that in there and maybe and you can see i've broken this one so now i have these two rear ones released um, they may re-engage but the hard one now obviously from where i'm at it's impossible to even visually to see it but i can feel it there and you'll be able to get your hand on and feel it so i would try to get on it uh, with a screwdriver if you can and you'll just have to basically get in here and futz with it so with a jump cut because i sat here getting frustrated 
Um, you can get in it on it with a flat braid screwdriver blind, and then you can pry it up. And I'm slipping my other hand in on the front a little bit, maybe, you know, to basically pull it back. There you go. And there it popped, blew away. All right, so that's three down, one to go. So this front one's already broken off, so that's cheating. But the idea is the same. You would come in from the front and get under the tab if it was there. And you should be able just to get in there. And this, at this point, I already knew I was sacrificing the piece. I just got underneath and I snapped it off deliberately. Once you've snapped it off, you still can't probably pull it out because you remember you've got the bottom five tabs. So what you can do though, is you can start to tip it back. And you can't tip it back very far because you've got the oil dipstick pipe <laughs> stopping it from rotating. And the bottom tabs are all gonna be engaged um, it's falling away for me, but essentially what, uh, because I've already broken, but I, I went along using my flat blade screwdriver and I, I know I felt out where one of the tabs was and I know how the tabs work now and I'd get in and I'd snap it off. I'd snap that one off. I could reach the th third one in the middle pretty easily. I snapped that off and at that point, it was flexible, starting to become flexible enough that I could pull it loose at the back. And then I just lowered the front and uh, those two were either broke off. And then you're sitting here down below trying to figure out how to get this big thing out. Well, you can actually do that and then pass it out the top. So not super elegant. Uh, it's a bit of a faff, um, but you should you know, be able to remove the thing at this point and you'll be able to get access to what you need inside the back cover. Now, one last thing about the back cover. You want to sacrifice the front. You do not want to damage the back piece. If you had to change this back piece, you're entering a whole new world of pain. Um, so you don't want to damage, break off any of these plastic bits. You just want to make sure whatever you're beating on, uh, it's going to, you know, sacrifice the front to save the back. So let's go over and take a crack at the other side. So over here on the right hand side of the car, the challenge is the same, but even a little more difficult because the space where my hands go in to, to work on it is filled with the air conditioning dryer. Um, but there's still, uh, we're going to do the exact same process just make out where the, the rearmost tab is and then the first tab on the second row is just over here so those are about the same getting to that third tab on the top row is the same blind uh, reach around uh, the suspension and then getting to the front tab is the same thing where we're going to go in underneath the throttle body with the screwdriver and bust that off then we're going to tip it forward at least we don't have the dipstick on this side and uh, we're gonna try to get the bottom uh, tabs to release and get the cover off. This one I actually haven't had off uh, completely yet, so uh, you'll be watching me swear uh, as I bust some of this up as well. So starting at the back, you can see I've already broken this one off, but same idea, uh, I'd slide the, the, I slid the pick in underneath the tab and I pried it up and I can tug it back a little bit. Then, Got to do the same thing. Now, this one's completely uh, broken off, uh, but same idea. You get underneath, you pry this up and pull it back a little bit. And you can see I've already had my fight with the third one. Same idea. You can probably just get along there. Um, okay, guide me in Perfect. right there. You get under, you prize this up. You're probably going to break this one off and then the front one same as the other you've got the th you'd have the throttle body and the intake manifold here that we have removed for filming uh, but you get in underneath it there 
So you can see I upsized my screwdriver a little bit so I can get a little better purchase on it. That felt like it just broke. And now I can pull it back. So I'm gonna see if I can get the cover to disengage from the top now. All right, so that's the furthest I've ever had this one off and I've still got all the bottom sections engaged. So now I'm gonna, since I know I've already broken the tops, I'm gonna go in with my straight pick. That's the first one broken off. <laughs> Again, remember the idea is you, you wanna sacrifice the cover to save the back. So that one is definitely cracked now. It just hasn't fallen away. Some horrible noises going on. There we go. So, and you should be able to orient it like this. Stand it up and slide it out. Well, now we've got both these little devils out. We've got a whole bunch of little shrapnel of the broken off tabs, but uh, you can also see that uh, the part's the same, uh, both the left and right side. They both have the little cutout for the dipstick tube. Uh, so when you order a replacement part, you're just ordering two of the same. There isn't a left and a right. So that pretty much wraps it up. You could get on with whatever work that you actually needed to do by removing these covers. Uh, probably you're gonna be changing your O2 sensors. Uh, up here, you're gonna find a link probably to the uh, how to reinstall the covers where I'll talk about uh, the parts, where to buy them, how much they are, and the, some tips and tricks on putting them in properly. Uh, down here, you'll find my companion blog article. We'll also have links uh, over to the, the things I talked about here and maybe to the, um, the parts themselves. Uh, if you'd like to get videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe. And as always, I'd love to hear your comments. Please leave those down below. Thanks for watching.